All right, this is Felicia's pool of questions. First question. Did you go into the house expecting to cook family meals for everyone? And was this a strategy or simply something you wanted to do? Um, it was a combination of both. Before I left home, I actually I made it into the house. One of my strategies was going to be to cook. I said, you win people's hearts through food. And I cook a lot at home. We do big family gatherings. And so I figured if I could bring that piece into the house, it would quickly get me connected to people. So it was a strategy. And then it is actually something that I just enjoy doing. So it became part of my making me feel like I was at home as much as I could be at home. You had a final two deal with Tari early in the season. And then you found out she wanted to keep Izzy over you. Did you ever consider truly making amends with her? I did and I didn't. I think after the Izzy vote, I realized I or couldn't trust Sari the way I thought I could. And so I was always leery of her motives. And a part of me always felt that she was undermining my game. So I had loyalty only as far as uh, feeling like I trust her. But every time it seemed, every time I went back in and said, oh, I trust her, something happened that made me say, ah, Felicia, I think she's sabotaging you again. So I was always looking for another angle. Next question. You said you were probably talking too much in the house. What do you mm -hmm. wish you hadn't said and why? Um, I don't know if any one particular that I wish I hadn't. Well, actually, there is one thing I wish I hadn't said. I wish I had told Jared that me and Suri were in final two. That was probably the one thing I should never have opened up my mouth and said. Everything else that I said, I'm okay with. Because I never told anybody a lie. I just revealed secrets when I thought it was an opportunity to tell. What were the most difficult and most rewarding parts of this experience? So the most rewarding, I'll start there, was actually just being a part of BB25 meeting and getting to know the 16 other players in the house, um, proving that to myself and my family that, you know, no matter what age you are, you should never stop chasing dreams. You've been living life to the fullest. And this experience I've said for 20 years, 23 years, that one day I was going to be on Big Brother. And I'm very proud of the game that I played as a 63 year old and I was able to hang. And so that was rewarding for me. And also, <laughs> sorry, I think being able to show that I could bring my faith into the game and show that um, that's okay to show that I have a, a trust in God, a belief in God. And that's what carried me through this game. And the fact that nobody was offended by that, but it drew people to me, that was rewarding to me. I, that was the biggest piece in the whole game, being able to bring people to a sense of faith. Now, difficult. Um, one, of course, finding out about my brother. It took me a lot to stay focused in the game after I found that out. And I had to do a lot of just burying feelings, trying not to let those emotions rise to the surface because then it caused me to kind of spiral from time to time. So that was difficult. I think also another difficult time was, I think when I realized that Sari and Jared had betrayed me, that yeah. hurt because I entrusted them a lot. And so... I never understood why, totally why. And I don't know if it was just they thought that maybe I was playing a better game. I don't know what it was. But when I realized that they were the ones that were really sabotaging my game, I was disappointed in that. 
And then being put on the block eight times. I kept trying to figure out why everybody was so comfortable throwing me up on the block, like my feelings didn't matter. And so that was bothersome. But aside from that, I realized it's the game. People had all different kinds of strategies and all I knew how to do was just be me. You were nominated for eviction several times this season. How did you manage avoiding being evicted all those times until now? Please explain your strategy you used to stay in the house. Well, again, I think um, my strategy was to just be Felicia. I don't know how to be a a fake person, play roles, tell lies, cheat, steal. I did reveal secrets from time to time, but I tried to just stay positive, particularly the weeks when I was on the block, because what I did learn quick is that one bad conversation, the week you're on the block, sends you out the door. So I tried to stay positive. I tried to stay my happy-go-lucky self and just trust that the relationships that I was building was enough to carry me forward where people would say, ah, eh, no, we're going to keep mama fee. And it seemed to work. And I almost had him this time. Uh, if Jag would have just trusted what I was telling him, because I was telling them the truth, I'd be sitting in that finale on Thursday, but he didn't trust me. And you mentioned your faith in a mustard seed. Your faith in the mustard seed carried you far in this game, but which mustard seed moment was the most surprising to you? Um, I think the Izzy vote. When I was up on the block in week six against Izzy, that was when I really felt like I was going home. Um, and that was that was a difficult time for me. Um, again, that's when I found out that Sari and Jared were working against me and everybody else was trying to keep me. And so I had to dig deep that week to stay in the house and I realized it. Um, also week nine, when I went on the block, that was right after I found out about my brother. And then I realized that, um, again, Cameron put me on the block and I was up against Mimi and I, I love Mimi to death and I didn't have any harm words for Mimi. And so trying to convince the jury to keep me, I mean, convince the house guests to keep me, without sabotaging Mimi because I didn't want to sabotage Mimi. That's hard because in order for me to fight for me, you really have to in a way fight against the other person. So I was trying to navigate that where I was never fighting against her, but only fighting for me. Let's talk about your final two with Mr. B. What was your yes. secret to such a loyal ally in the game? Huh? What was your secret to securing such a loyal ally in the game with Mr. B? <laughs> Me and Mr. B became friends from day one. When I realized that he had my best interest and I had his, it was like, look, I'm trying to help you help the house. I'm trying to help you keep this house clean. I'm trying to help you navigate around all these crazy personalities. And so I realized that if I was nice to Mr. B, if I did some cleanup, if I did some cooking, if I tried to manage resources, because I was trying to manage resources by cooking these family dinners, because otherwise there would have been way more waste than there actually was. So. I knew that if I just stayed communicating with him and I stayed real with Mr. B, Mr. B would stay real with me. And we had a perfect duo all the way to the end. <laughs> <laughs> what is your most proud accomplishment from the Big Brother experience? Never quitting. My, my biggest accomplishment was never quitting well, I have several. Never quitting, staying true to who I was, trusting and believing that God was carrying me through. I knew that I wasn't going to leave till it was time for me to leave. So for whatever reason, it wasn't meant for me to win. And that's why I was at peace. I knew I was leaving yesterday before the vote. I never even asked Jack had he made his final decision because I already knew. Every time I was up on that block, I knew if I was staying or going. I would get nervous, but I always knew I was staying. Yesterday, 
I knew probably within a couple hours of leaving that I was the one getting voted out and I was okay with that. So trusting my gut instinct, um, being true to who I was, trying to play a truthful, honest game and showing that, that faith will carry you a long way and being genuine in who you are will carry you a long way. That was what was important to me in playing this game. Who will you stay in touch with after the game? After everybody, anybody who's willing to stay in touch with me, I'm willing to stay in touch with them. I genuinely did like everybody in the house. You know, some of them, I think they played a little bit hard in their gameplay. So they made you say, boy, you stupid girl, you crazy. But I think for a lot of them, they really were playing roles and it wasn't who they are. Um, genuinely, I think it was a great cast, a very diverse cast, a very fun cast. And God willing, I stay connected to all of them. I, I, I hold no hard feelings against anybody that was in that house. And last question, you told Sari that she was the best thing to happen to you in the house. How does it feel knowing you're walking out of the house with such a strong friendship with her? It feels good because deep down, I know even though she was playing the game hard and sabotaging me, I still think she is a wonderful person. She reminds me a lot of myself, actually. Um, she's got a great personality. She's got a lot of good morals and values and her family life seemed to align a lot with my family life. And I think it's a friendship that I will have for life. I can't wait to meet her family and her meet mine. And so I'm looking forward to our relationship outside of the house. And that concludes Felicia's pool of questions. Yay. <laughs>